how did the kidnapping affect um, Lindbergh and how did it affect his wife and or their marriage? Um, it affected both of them. You know, Lindbergh was cold, sort of cool about it, and he never wrote about it. For all the things that he wrote about in his journals, he never wrote about his real feelings about um, what happened to his son. But you can see how it affected him. And I think the biggest way that it affected Charles Lindbergh is that he really soured on the United States. He really soured on um, the media. Um, he blamed the media for what happened, that um, they really did follow him around. He was the biggest story. They spied, they opened his mail, they listened in on conversations. They did whatever they could to get a story on Lindbergh. Um, and so he really did blame America, um, blame the media, and eventually came to blame American democracy because we had that freedom of of the press, and he came to actually blame democracy for what happened to his son. Um, we have clues that it affected him deeply, personally. Um, Reeve, his daughter, who's, who is still living, um, writes that she believed, I mean, he went to the morgue and identified that baby when he didn't have to, the pediatrician had already done that. But he felt that he had to do it, um, and it must have been a really, horrible experience for him. And yet Reeve said that the reason he had done that was that that was the last um, thing that he could do as a father for his child was to actually go and identify him. We also know that he took his ashes and scattered them by himself from an airplane. Nobody went with him, um, which, you know, one speaks to that loner part of Charles Lindbergh, but I also think it speaks to his father's heart. Um, as for Anne Lindbergh, she was devastated. She was crushed. She was um, really open about it. If you read her diary from that time, um, it makes you weep. Um, very open about the pain and anger that she was going through. But it also put a real um, um, wedge, drove a real wedge between them. It was the first wedge, I think, between them, because she felt that she couldn't express, should she couldn't share her grief. Charles wanted her to not share her grief with him. And so she did it. But that's, um, you know, a, a thing, hard thing to do when you're married, not to share that grief with someone. And so I think it was the first wedge in their marriage. 